Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to talk about one of the most important topics that I get a lot of questions about in the comments of my videos. This topic is how to get a Gcam mod for your Android device. And as you know there are millions of Android phones out there with different makes, different models, different processors. So it's very hard for you to pick the best Gcam that can work on your mobile phone. So in this video, I'm not gonna tell you how to get the Gcam mod for each and every make and model, but I'm gonna tell you a process that if you follow, you will be able to get the right Gcam mod for your Android phone, regardless the make, the model, or the processor used in the device. So let's see what are the steps you need to follow to get yourself a working Gcam mod on your Android device and take pixel quality photos but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video so let's jump in So the first thing you need to know is what are the requirements of the Gcam mod to work on your Android device and the most important requirement is something called Camera 2 API. And in a nutshell, the Camera 2 API is an interface that allows the developers to get access to your camera settings like the ISO, the exposure, the shutter speed, etc. And once they get access to those settings, they will be able to create a different version of Google Camera that can work on your device, which means you will be able to use Google's HDR+, Night Sight, Astrophotography, and more. And the first question you need to answer here, does your phone support the Camera 2 API or not? And to know this, I'm going to show you a very helpful app that you can download from Google Play Store called Camera 2 API Probe. I downloaded this application on my Pixel 4 XL to show you how it looks. So here I have the Camera 2 Probe application up and running and let me zoom in to show you the details. So the first field you have here is called the camera facing and it says here back which means you are looking at the back camera details. And the third field it says here hardware support level and this is the most important thing we need to look at. As you see here on my Pixel 4 XL it has a tick beside the word full which means that the Camera 2 API on my phone has access to each and every camera feature I have. And if you have the tech beside the word legacy, that means your phone does not support the Camera 2 API. And in this case, you'll need to download a custom ROM for your device with the Camera 2 API enabled to be able to use the Gcam mod. But this is not the purpose of this video. If you want to know how to get yourself a custom ROM with the Camera 2 API, I recommend checking XDA developers website. And if you have the tech beside the word limited, that means that you have the Camera 2 API enabled, but with limited access to your camera features. And if you have it at level three, that means you have full access in addition to some extra features related only to the manufacturer. Once you make sure that you have the Camera 2 API enabled, now you can look for the best Gcam mod for your device. Now when you search online for the best Gcam mod for your Android device, you will see a lot of developers and a lot of APKs available for download, which is gonna make you a little bit confused. And to make things easier for you, I did cooperate with a website called androidsage.com. And this website provided me with a lot of articles that talks about Gcam mods, that's gonna make things a lot easier for you. So let me show you an example here. And here is one of the articles on androidsage.com that talks about Gcam mod 7.3. And as I mentioned before, if you search it online for a Gcam mod, you will see a lot of developers created their own custom versions that works with different devices, which is gonna make you a little bit confused. And that's why I'm recommending this article because it consolidates all the information you need to know about each Gcam mod. It's gonna tell you what are the supported devices, the supported Android version, and also provide you with the download links. So for example, if we scroll down, we will see the first option here from a developer called Arnova. And this developer created a custom Gcam version that works with uh, OnePlus devices, starting from the 7, 7 Pro, 70, 70 Pro, and also works with Essential Phone, Poco F1, and also some Galaxy devices like the S10 series, Note 10, Note 10 Plus, and so on and so forth. And as you see here, you have the download links from this developer. And when you tap on the link, it will straight away download the APK for you that you can install on your device. And if you couldn't find your device in this developer's APK, you can scroll down and move to another developer. And in this case, that will be Parrot. And that developer created another version that works with Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro 
and also works with Nokia phones, in addition to OnePlus and some Galaxy devices too. There are also different articles that talks about Gcam mods based on previous versions like 6.1 and 6.2. In case if 7.3 is not gonna work with your phone, you can get back to those articles and you might find an older version that's gonna work with your device. So this is the simplest way to get yourself a working Gcam mod on your device and now you understand what are the requirements and how to make sure you have them. Not only this, but let me also share with you more advanced resources that gets updated directly from the developers. So here's the first link I'm gonna share with you. So let's open this one. When you scroll down, you can see each and every phone you can think of, and they are all listed in alphabetical order. So for example, let's take a look here at OnePlus, and let me zoom in to show you this. As you see here, the first option is stable versions for this phone. And when you tap on it, it will take you to another page that will show you the Google camera version, the best one that works with this phone and the download link down here. And this is another easy way to locate the best Gcam mod for your device. Let me show you one more link that can allow you to locate Gcam mods based on the version. And in this link, as you see here, it says here, Google camera version 7.2, 6.2 and 3 and when you expand each one you will see the developer name and the download link. One more thing worth mentioning here, sometimes when you install any of those APKs you might encounter an issue like the app keeps crashing or some of the features doesn't work properly. And that usually happens because of the app settings. Sometimes the settings doesn't work properly with your phone so you might need to tweak them a little bit to get it up and running. So if you take a look here beside each APK, you will see the word configs and when you tap on it, that will take you to another page that will give you all the settings that you need for each and every phone that this Gcam mod can work with. And when you expand the name of the phone, you will see here a bunch of XML files and there is also another link that I'm going to share with you that's going to show you how you can load this XML file inside your mod or your Gcam mod and here for example it will tell you to create a couple of folders and then here it will tell you how to load them in the app which gonna change your app settings and make it compatible with the device you are using. And that should allow you to fix your problem and your app might stop crashing or the features might start working back as usual. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the steps that I think gonna help you a lot to get yourself a working GCam mod for any Android device without the need to wait for any video on YouTube to tell you how to get it specifically for your device, but now you know how to do it yourself. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.